Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody! So, we beat the Moonlit Grotto in the last episode. Today, we have to find a way off of this island. This huge fish washed the shore. It looks fresh and tasty. Redfish has a very exciting flavor. GG! Redfish has a very exciting flavor. We found this red fish. We're dying to savor its exciting flavor. Hey, what are those red seeds you have? Ember seeds? What an exciting name! Will you trade ember seeds for our fish? Yeah, sure. It's a deal! I can't wait to taste it! Crack, munch munch. Hot! Hot! Why would you eat ember seeds? I was almost eaten! I'm Dimitri. I can swim in the sea. Are you going somewhere? I can give you a ride. I chomp when you press A, and I swim like a fish, even up waterfalls. You can even carry me using the power bracelet. This is the last animal buddy we get in the game, Dimitri. He can one-hit kill enemies, but he's slow. Although he can swim anywhere, even the ocean. So yeah, we've explored this whole ocean area. We'll take him for a swim. This is the last time we'll get to use Dimitri in the game, so... Ooh. Speaking of Gasha trees, my one on Crescent Island should have been planted, or should have grown by now. So this is also the part of the game where you need to decide which animal buddy you're going to get. So... By that, I be actually... Alright. Before I finish that thought, I'll show off, yeah, he can eat enemies whole, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, there's no way to reach our Gasha tree, so we can try swimming around here. You'll notice there are all of these portals to Subrosia, except they don't take you to Subrosia, they just make you fall and you take damage. They're annoying. I'll get lost if I go too far. What a wimp. What a wump. Yep, that's the word. But yeah, this is the top part of the game where you get to decide which animal buddy you want to have permanently. So if you just play through the game normally, you will get Moosh. If you go to the store, there will be a flute for sale. That, and you buy that, you'll get Dimitri. And if you get a good enough prize in the uh, Lina Village shooting arcade, then you'll get Ricky. Or if you're playing a Link playthrough like I am, you'll get whatever pet you got in the previous uh, uh, game you played. So in that case, it's Ricky. So I'm getting Ricky. We're here, you go alone now, bye! And we never see him again. Also, now that we have the Seed Shooter... We can visit Tingle whenever we want. Not that we'd ever really want to do that, but, you know, it's an option now. The flute's pretty expensive if you want to buy it at the store, but it's not as annoying to get as the flute you get for the shooting arcade. Just trust me on that. Alright, what's for sale? Same old stuff, lame. Hey, Vasu, I've got some jewels for you. What? I don't. That's astonishing. Also, we should visit Bippin' and Blossom's kid now. Hey, Artie! Rome is all grown up and off on his own. I'll teach you everything about trees. A traveler once told me the time it takes for a point of gash seed to mature into a tree is related to how many monsters you slay. Could this be true? Artie, do you remember naming our son Rome? He's grown into a fine man. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's Red Link! My name is Rome. I am a train every day to be a hero like you, Artie. Oh. Okay, that is kind of Rome in a nutshell, though. He should be a warrior. Train every day, son. And someday, you will be as great as Link. Well, 
now that we've got our seed shooter, we can carry on over into the west area. Oh, that's right! I forgot about this! Artie, great timing! This bird just told me that Zelda is on her way to Lina Village, so I came to meet her, but... Oh, what a mess! A red monster appeared right before my eyes and carried Zelda off! It flew towards the tower. What am I to do? Artie, Zelda is a symbol of hope for the world. If anything happens to her, all hope will be lost. You must save Zelda. Please, Artie, you must find a way to save Zelda. So this is only happens in a linked playthrough. If you are not playing a linked playthrough, this will not happen. We're in a city! Meru's house! Zelda comes! Zelda comes! What? So we gotta save Zelda. Yep, Zelda is actually in the Oracle games. It's you! A turtle works faster than you! You're too late! Artie, you did me a favor in Holodrum! I've taken the princess you're looking for! If you think you can save her, try! Gar har har har! Okay, I just want to say right now... That guy caused me so much pain in my Oracle of Seasons playthrough. If you can dodge my attacks and make it up here, you can have your precious princess back, but it'll never happen. Gar har har! So now we get to play a little, uh, arcade game Donkey Kong. Boom, 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 boom. The fireballs do deal a lot of damage. Whoa! A lot more than I remember. Holy crow! Those fireballs one-hit kill us. Jeez Louise. Gotta be careful here. Also, our shield will not repel its, uh, the fireballs. Oh boy! Yes! Ah, I don't think this is over! Gar har 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 har! Goodbye! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Zelda. You are Artie, right? I knew it at first glance. Take this as thanks for rescuing me. You gotta rain, get it appraised later. Shall we go outside? Zelda! You're safe! You, I was so worried. Why did you come alone to such a dangerous place? I'm sorry I made you worry, but I saw it, a world filled with sorrow and despair, with it withering away. Artie, the triangle on your left hand is the mark of a hero. We cannot let Varan do as she pleases. Only you can thwart Twinrova and save the world. Please, Artie, chase the darkness away with your mighty hand and protect this land. That was poetry, literally. Please, please. Artie has taken it, so there's nothing to fear, right, Zelda? For now, we must hide in Nehru's house and await world word from Artie. Artie, you were headed to the mountains in the north, west? I heard there's a trial west, trail west of here, be careful. Oh man, I just can't read this year. Artie, I always hope for your safe return. Sweet, well, let's appraise the ring we just got. It's a very rare ring. I believe that's the only time in the game you can get it. It's the Blue Joy Ring. Beasts drop double hearts. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, I can't equip it, but that's my own fault. Trust me, if I could equip a rain of my choice, I would equip the red rain, which has you deal double sword damage. Bosses become a joke with that rain. Alright, so first we're going into this house. I'm so hungry, my stomach hurts. Ah, I'm hungry! Pardon me, I just thought you could help. Ah, I'm hungry! Give him the tasty meat? Sure. Pa Meat! What's this? Hand it over? Food at last, chomp chomp. Why are you staring at me? Oh, you want something? How greedy, how mean. You won't leave until you get something? Fine, you can have this. Pa, meat. You got a doggy mask. A dog lover will love it. 
Yeah, let's never go in that house again. The Happy Mask Salesman's creepy. Take that, Octorok! Thankfully, the thing we need to do next is right in this house. We remember Mamu Yan. I am Mama Muyan, the top breeder in town. My dog is much cuter than that dog. Much cuter. But my dog is very shy. Wow, that doggy mask. It fits my dog perfectly. Let me have that doggy mask. Give her the doggy mask? Yes. Good boy. You deserve the toy that my dog played with. You got a dumbbell. But there's only one. What's wrong, boy? I only had one to begin with. Your dog was playing with a weight? That seems really stupid. And shoot, I didn't set a timer for this episode. Oh well. So now that we've got the seed shooter, we'll burn that and then... Yeah! It's Maple! <gasps> POTION! You again? Thanks to you, everything in my bag flew out. You must be the brave to hit Maple like this. I'll just take your stuff, too. Here goes. Alright, she went after the rain first. I'd much rather have a potion. You little... I'll remember this. So a potion it acts like a fairy does in pretty much every other Zelda game, where you run out of hearts, the potion will automatically activate and give you full HP again. And this... Can't remember the name of this guy. I f oh, Buzz Blob, I believe. Anyways, you don't want to hit it with your sword. Instead, what you want to do is shoot it with your seed shooter. What happens if it does hit you? Well, if you do hit it with a sword, I don't want to show you. You'll take damage, though. Also, I love the red flowers in this area. They're just beautiful. Also, this upcoming area, depending on which animal buddy you get, we, uh, the area will change to suit that animal buddy. And also, if you enter this area and you haven't picked a specific flute yet, guess what? You're getting Moosh. It's the carpenter. Those lazy, worthless fools! Just as we're building this bridge to the symmetry city ruins, they go off on break! I wait and wait, but they don't come back. We'll never get the bridge done at this rate. I'd go find him, in the, but the terrain round here is too rough. A oh, man can't navigate it on his own. Pa! What a fix. So you'll see there are a lot of cliffs and then holes with grass in between the pits. That means Ricky needs to get through here. Well, now that we've talked to the head carpenter, let's go back. Mister, I found you! Listen, it's a mess! An animal with gloves on got lost in our forest and can't get out! We were playing a little trick, but now it'll never get out! Can you help us find it? Do you get our problem? Yeah. Hurry, I'll wait at the forest entrance south of here. That's Ricky. Yeah, if you hit this guy with your sword, that happens. That's a hefty amount of damage, too. This is great new. Sick for a Zelda game. Yes, it really is indeed. Wait, mister, this way. Ooh, yeah, this only appears in a linked playthrough as well. Artie, I see your quest has brought you to Labrina. Can I ask a favor of you? Yes. There should be a great fairy behind the falls in Hollow Drum's sunken Temple of Seasons. I want you to tell her my secret, understand? Sure. The secret is that. Understand? Yep. Thank you. Once again, I will at the end of this series go back to Oracle of Seasons and show off all those secrets. Hi, Ricky. Um, this leads that way. That goes... Ah, oh, I don't know what's going on. Artie, why are you here? 
Mister, you found it! Okay, we'll take you to the edge of the forest. Yeah! You won't get lost here. Sorry, we didn't mean it, but seeking is more fun than hiding. Really, I want to do it again. Next time will be harder. Come play with us again, okay? Goodbye. I still don't get it, but you helped me out, Artie. You really are my best friend. I want you to go adventuring with you like we did in Holodrum. I know, take this flute. Play that flute anytime you need my help. If I hear the flute, I'll come find you. And we get Ricky's flute. Ricky will come to your aid when you play it. You want to go north, right? I'll take you. Hop in my pouch. Yeah, Ricky! It's a kangaroo in a Zelda game, and it's really cool. Bring back Ricky! Also, Ricky can just punch those guys to death. It's awesome. Seriously, if you think Link's Awakening is weird, at least that doesn't have a boxing kangaroo that you can ride around in. Those lazy, worthless fools! Just as we're building this bridge to Symmetry City Ruins, they're on break, and they don't come back. Come on, buddy, can you go find those slackers for me? Sure. Thanks, buddy, I guess you'll be off then. If you can get all these slackers back here, we can go to work on this bridge. But the terrain around here is too rough, so you can't manage it on your own, okay? Sure. Alright, Ricky, we got a job to do, and a job that must be done. Stupid P-Hats. Also, one of the best hidden plots of land there is in the entire game. Yeah, I've got the strategy guide for Oracle of Ages. Huh, the boss? But I wanted to hang out a while longer, but I can head back. Yeah, you will. I think this is a fairy fountain, but I have- yeah. There are a couple of caves around here, I can never remember which one is the fairy fountain. Yeah, boxing kangaroo! Boxing kangaroo! Go into box where nobody else boxes before he's a boxing kangaroo! Boxing Kangaroo. Whoa! Ricky just punched a guy who was like 10 miles above him. That's amazing. Not 10 miles, but you know. Oh, the boss, I wanted to hang out longer. Here we go. And we got a rain. Alright, so, just a couple more screens to explore over here. Actually, I've explored them all. But there's still one more slacker. Alright, so now to get across here, use a tornado punch. That is seriously one of the coolest things in a video game. The tornado punch. Ah, there's nothing there. Oh, the boss, but I want to hit out longer. Duh. Ha ha, they're finally here. They were just late. Well, get to work. No more breaks until the bridge is done. Yes, boss. That guy in the back isn't doing anything. We're done, boss. What? You're already done? I guess you fools can work! But no time for breaks now, on to the next job! Yes, boss. Ugh, their lips are blue. What is wrong with them? Symmetry City, this way. And these guys are dark nuts. They're much easier than they are in Zelda 1. 
And this is Symmetry Village, but something seems very, very wrong. It's, um... Volcanic. And everything's destroyed, and these guys are tough enemies. Wow. Makes you wonder what happened here. Well, we'll find out in the next episode! But first... We get Gale Seeds! Their gust can take you where you want to go. Open your seed satchel to use them. Those let us warp to any other seed tree in this time period, which is awesome. And anyways, we have to leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.